Hello, my name is Jason Brickner with Olympus Controls. Today I'm going to show you the Yaskawa Sigma 5 drive with Ethernet IP daughter card connected to an Allen Bradley Compact Logics controller and a Parker CTC Interact Express HMI. The setup I'll be showing today features a Yaskawa Sigma 5 servo drive with Ethernet IP daughter card. That's connected via Ethernet to a standard Ethernet switch, which also has connected an Allen Bradley Rockwell Automation Compact Logix L23E and a Parker Interact Express HMI. I also have a programming PC set up. The HMI allows me to enable and disable the servo motor and drive clear any faults, home the motor, now we'll take a little deeper look under the hood to see how all these components interact together. We have the Parker Interact Express HMI screen here where we already demonstrated that we could uh, reset drive faults, enable the drive, jog the drive forward and reverse, send the drive to a specific position. If we go out of uh, the runtime mode and go into development mode, we'll see that the HMI is made up of several buttons, numeric displays, and whatnot. Those numeric displays are tied to tags, like this here. These tags were all imported from the PLC, from the Allen Bradley PLC, through the communication driver. If I look at my communication driver, I see that the inner Parker Interact Express HMI is able to browse all of the tags inside of the Compact Logics PLC and from there I can import them into my tag database and then connect them to various buttons and displays and alarms inside of the project. When I manipulate the buttons and displays and numeric entries in the HMI, it changes the values in their ladder logic program. If I open up my RS Logics 5000 programming software, I see that I have a Yaskawa sample project preloaded and running inside the PLC. You'll also notice there is a servo drive module mapped under the Ethernet port of the PLC. There's the Ethernet IP address of the servo drive. And I see the running routine where the drive is configured. There's a heartbeat. There's access status bits. The servo is on and servo is ready. And then here's some of the instructions you might be used to seeing with Alan Bradley's motion setup. There's servo on, servo off, access stop, fault reset. These are all similar names to the Rockwell motion blocks. Here's a access move, different types of motion, absolute, relative, there's blended moves, there's jogs, homes, gearing instructions, camming instructions, blended move instructions, sequence instructions, sequencer, uh, edit instructions, torque control, and programmable limit switch functions. You'll also see that Yaskawa provides a whole set of add-on instructions. 
everything from blended moves to motion configuration instructions. There's also user to find data types that go along with the drive. And if I look up under controller tags, you'll see there's already an axis that's defined. And you'll see things like uh, torque feedback, speed feedback, acceleration, speed, move times, servo status, etc. When I interact with the controls on the Parker HMI, it controls the bits inside of the program running here, which in turn controls the servo drive. And that's how it works in a nutshell.